Give as Gain is an amazing concept. Um, it's really about thinking about the giving and the gain happens by itself. Um, it's really about focusing on the other person and the business comes back to you in ways that you would never even have imagined. In England and we moved back to Ireland and uh, you know I had a network in Ireland but it was from my youth it wasn't necessarily in business well, when we moved back you know you're sort of you start up a business and you're waiting for the phone to ring and it's like not ringing you know um, so uh, we thought well maybe we'll look at networking at the time we were involved in, in a very early discipline at the time it was coaching in the west of Ireland in 2002 and um, so not a lot of people necessarily knew what it was um, so we went along to a B&I chapter and and uh, we, we, we met this guy and he, he's a, a farmer and, uh, and, and a, uh, an auctioneer and he has like these big massive hands. He sort of said, oh, look, I don't really know what to do. I don't understand what it is this coaching is, but if I can help you, I will. And he just shook our hands. And that made a huge difference to us because it was like, there's somebody here who wants to help us, who doesn't even know much about what it is that we do, but they're willing to put out their hand and help us and see what they can do with their contacts. I'm Irish and we've had a, a lot of economic difficulties um, you know, in, the, in, the, in our recent past. And one of the things that has happened during that period is that people are wanting to hold on to business. They're like, oh, you know, I've got this client, I must hold on to them and I must keep them. Whereas B&I works in the opposite way. It's really about like, I must help you to you know, get a new client. And because of that, and because of the way that people are generous with their time and their energy and their contacts and what they can do to help others, what actually happens is it's nearly like an abundance, if you like. So that in Ireland, there's been this sort of scarcity mentality um, and like a, a negativity about business. Whereas in BNI, we have this positivity and this uh, look to help others. And it's made all the difference for some of those businesses. And I often have people come up to me and say, I'm only in business throughout this period because of BNI. It's an unusual story. Um, you know, when you go into BNI, you, you're looking for business and you want to move your business forward. And sometimes it actually helps you in ways you'd never thought you, you could never imagine. And uh, we, I, I got a letter from a, a member, and I, I knew about this experience, but she wanted to actually put it down on paper what happened to her. Um, she went into the, the chapter, and she was in the chapter about a year, and she was building relationships. And um, it was just coming up to Christmas, and her house burned down, and her entire house from the you know the whole lot was just ashes and her chapter gathered round they got her a new house they got presents for her kids coming up to Christmas this was the sort of things that really you know were important to her at the time and um, they raised money in the community you know even though they had their own Christmases and their own things to organize they actually did that for her and that was actually the that was how she got through those initial stages of such a traumatic event happening because of those relationships that she'd built and what they did for her. Um, we've got this uh, guy in one of our chapters and he's a painter, his name is Andy, and he, uh, he, he's renowned for not wearing his name badge, right? Um, but he, had, he was leaving the chapter and he had his name badge left on without sort of uh, realising it. And this, came up to, this guy came up to me and said, um, Hi Andy, uh, I see you're a painter. And he sort of said, how did you know that? And he said, because you've got Andy Painter written on your, on your badge. And um, he said, I've, I've got a bit of uh, something that I'd like done, you know, a painting job. Um, would you mind quoting on it? And he said, well, look, I've got something to do at the minute, but I'll come back. So he gave him his, his details. And um, what he wanted him to do was actually painting in a local store, Tesco's. And um, that has actually led to 3,000 euros worth of business for Andy. But he went back to him and he said, well, why did you actually pick me? Like anyone could have been walking through a... a, 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 a a hotel lobby um, with you know painting on their or on their van or something like that. And he said, because I have experience of BNI members before, and I know that you can trust that if they say that they're going to do something, that they're going to do it.